Uh, I'm going to be using the end set to cut a bouquet or a festoon of flowers and this is a particular gun in which the background will be all fine English scroll and then there'll be areas that are filled with the uh, the flowers and the there won't be the border of empty space around it it's going to be um, just contiguous with the English scroll going in and behind and we'll shade will shade all around the uh, the bouquets of flowers um, I'm using a hundred degree graver which is what I normally use for English scroll and what I'm going to demonstrate though is uh, cutting slow and I have a long stroke length so I get the progress marks in the uh, cuts because it really adds something to this kind of engraving um, there's something about those progress marks that change the whole look overall um, it's subtle but if you look at something that's been cut with it uh, normally from hammer and chisel and one that hasn't and put them side by side there's there's a difference there um, it just has something to do with the, the way it appears plus with uh, something like this which is very organic it's nice to have a not perfectly smooth uh, border outline of your subject so you can see that although I'm cutting at a slow stroke speed each hit, if you will, advances the tool quite some distance. So you're really not, uh, the pace is actually not slow when you get going. And you can see that when I'm doing this kind of cutting, I, I never try to make everything perfect. It really looks much better when it's finished if it's a little bit more organic, if you will. Uh, if you want to say rough, you can say rough, but it's really more than that. So. I'll zoom in a little bit here and You want to have a little bit of variation in the line width. You don't want it to, um, you know, it can start out with a fine line and then, of course, get heavier. But then you want it to get heavier and lighter in different places.
you can see the the cut marks or the progress marks that are made. And then when we zoom back, of course, it's not like something that you, you know, you can see clearly, um, not on something this small, but again, it's that overall look or effect that it produces. So I'll do a little bit more here. Also, when I'm doing this kind of cutting, I try to kind of mimic hammer and chisel a little bit in that they cut a lot more, um, you know, nowadays we put a lot more pointed areas and stuff to our uh, leaf structures. Uh, they kind of just came in and made kind of these sweep cuts or these hooks and stuff because, I mean, I think it was just faster and easier. Now, the one thing that you can do on the centers of these flowers is you don't have to cut an outline like I'm doing here. Um, you could just leave it drawn and, you know, have your shade lines come in and stop and let that become the, um, you know, the center. But uh, that's, you know, a little bit more work. And, you know, for this kind of job, if I was doing a Bellino scene or something, I definitely would do that. But for this, uh, I find it just fine to go ahead and cut the outline and then shade to it afterwards. Now when you go to shade this, part of what's going to make the whole thing uh, come alive and, and, and give it even more form will be how you do the shade lines. Um, again, for a, a fast type of work that, um, you know, kind of a production job, you know, they would just come in and just put straight lines. Uh, you can give it a lot more uh, feeling of form by putting a little bit of curve into your shade lines. And of course here we would shade coming back under. So if I just go straight, that's going to look fine. But if I bring it like this, just a slight curve. And don't try to make the, every line perfectly uh, the same length. It, it'll have a much better more natural look if you make some longer some shorter and go back to some longer again it'll it'll look a lot nicer when you get finished with it but just something small like this can make a difference you can even leave an area there and then shade right over the edge here so that it gives it a little more perspective So that's probably how I would I would shade one something like that, um, and you know whether you want to do faster quick lines, it's up to you. Um, or if you want to, you know, put a, a lot more lines in, you know, you can do that as well. Um, again, always think about the 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 overall size of something, and and the problem with working under the microscope. That I see that a lot of people have is that they they tend to overdo it on, in the magnification, um, and it's really not necessary. So.